Hello everyone, I think I just completed my most DIY project ever. I can now answer phone calls and play music from my TI-84 Plus CE. How I managed to accomplish this is quite a story, so I've simplified it as much as I can. Let's get right into it. A couple of months ago, I found out that if I cut away a bit of plastic shell on the inside of my calculator, I could stuff in a second battery which would double my battery life to several months on a full charge. After I soldered the secondary battery to the main battery, I realized I didn't need the main battery anymore, which frees up easy access to the battery bay for smaller calculator mods. Just a few days ago, I dug out an old O-Rig Audio Jelly Box Bluetooth speaker that didn't sound all that great. When I figured out how to disassemble it, I discovered that its circuit board was almost the perfect size to fit inside the calculator's battery bay. Even better, the battery used in the Bluetooth speaker used the same voltage as my TI-84 Plus CE's battery. This gave me an idea. Add a speaker to my calculator. Thankfully, the edges of the PCB contain no components and I was able to trim it down without breaking anything. This board has quite a few features. It can play off of a micro SD card and has buttons for play, pause, volume, and answering phone calls. Unfortunately, there are quite a few features I had to remove or reposition in order to fit it inside the battery bay. First, the original 4 ohm 3 watt speaker is way too big to fit anywhere inside the calculator, so I eventually replaced that with modular wires. Second, the headphone jack. This may be the only time where the removal of the headphone jack was legitimately due to space issues. This jack only allowed audio input, so it wasn't as big of a loss to me. Unfortunately, I don't have any desoldering tools, so removing components was a bit of a struggle. Next, the power switch had to go. Man, I really am going all Apple on this board. Removing the headphone jack and the power switch? Next thing you know, I'll be removing the charging port as well. Honestly, I could actually do that. As you can see as I take apart my calculator, my previous project involved adding wireless charging to my calculator, a mod you can safely do yourself if you followed the tutorial in the card above. Anyways, what I'm currently doing is connecting all the battery terminals permanently to the calculator, a process that took well over half an hour to do. This is where the Bluetooth speaker will be getting its power. Sadly, I didn't realize my camera ran out of storage, so you won't be able to see the riveting footage of me soldering new power leads and reattaching the power switch via wires. The wires allowed me to put the switch where a charging station contact used to be. This means I can turn the board on and off without needing a screwdriver to open the battery door. Next, I repositioned the microphone using some hot glue so it was facing upwards. This is because the battery bay door wouldn't fully close with it facing sideways. After repositioning it, the door fit almost perfectly. There was a small bulge, but when I pressed it, it activated the answer phone call button, so I decided to leave it that way. Once everything fit, I temporarily reattached the large speaker in order to test that everything still worked. I turned it on, and it connected to my laptop right away. Music started playing, and the calculator could function at the same time. Sadly, the microphone didn't work, which meant I couldn't make a successful phone call yet but it was an easy fix, only requiring a better solder job. I still wasn't sure how I could get a speaker small enough that could fit on the inside of the calculator. This held me up for a couple of days. One morning, as I was digging through some equipment, I discovered some contact microphones I had used in a science fair project about generating electricity from sound. I remembered that these microphones can actually be used in reverse and output sound instead. Since they're only a millimeter thick, they're the perfect size for this project. I cut a small access hole for the wires, then I attach the contact microphone, which I guess I'll be calling a contact speaker now, to the inside of the calculator. After making the wires the correct length and making them modular, I wrapped everything up in Kapton tape to prevent short circuits, powered on the Bluetooth circuit board, and closed up the battery bay door. I was stunned how clean this mod looks on the outside. Unless you look closely and notice the recessed power switch or the bulging seams, there's no way to tell that this calculator has a full Bluetooth speaker inside it. Satisfied with my work, it was time to make some phone calls. The reactions I got were pretty amusing. Hello? Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, no. Awesome. Well, you are one of the very first people to hear me call you, uh, or you call me, from a calculator. <laughs> now, since I made the speaker connections modular, this means I can attach different speakers, including the original one, in order to adjust what kind of sound quality I want. In order to test these, I played some clips of music at three volumes, 30%, 60%, and 100%. Here's how one song went.
As expected, none of the sounds were stunning. The contact speaker has no bass, and the original speaker is obviously pretty cheap. However, when you adjust your expectations for this being played on a calculator, the contact speaker actually does a really good job for phone calls, and the original speaker is good enough to show off this party trick. If I wanted, I could also buy a better quality speaker and simply use that instead. Just for fun, I tried one other song. I hope you enjoyed this mod I did. Before I sign off, Texas Instruments has just banned assembly on their new operating system version 5.5, which means many games and utilities will no longer work on your calculator. Click on the card above for more details and what you can do about it. Have a good day.